this edition, I will show you what FOGA is. It's a footprinting uh, op um, program which many is many are used to extract the metadata in office documents. So in here, before we start, we will go first. Uh, we will go look for project, a new project. Then in this project, let's say we want to extract all the metadata we can find in office documents made by an organization, an organization. So we look for an organization. So for instance, we go to Windows, um, the Firefox. Now in Firefox, let's search for any company. So for HSBC uh, Bank. Now in this case we don't have any malicious intent, but we just want to collect some in public information which is found in the office documents of HSBC. So we'll go to their website first. This is H HSBC. So we only copy that. That's what we want. So we copy that. We minimize. Now here we go HSBC. Then here. That's the company who we'll find the folder where we can put it. Projects, these are some of the other projects. So we'll create a new project HSBC. That's the folder we want. Okay, then so we are collecting meta data. So create. We go again here. Projects HSBC is save. Now, the first thing we, we need to do is type this so we we'll put networks. So we enlarge this a little bit. So that's for the domains. We'll put rules there. Uh, generalities, they'll be listed there. The meter type. And yeah, so here we go search all. Yeah. So it's searching. We'll give it a minute. So as you can see, we'll put one. So download
Now at this point we have read for uh, running for a little bit. Now I will show you what is happening here. Now as you can see from the search engine extension here, we are scouring on Google and Bing on search engines any document which HSBC they have publicized to Google or Bing. So we don't need to hide our footprint because we are not uh, touching any HSBC website. What we are doing, we are scraping what Google and Bing they know. And the documents which we are after is do, uh, web document, DOC, then PowerPoint, PPT, then PPS, uh, Excel, then uh, um, Doxy, which is a, a Microsoft Word, and as you can see, other uh, extensions of other, other files. So if we uh, from here now, if we can look on our left hand side here, we see where these uh, HSBC we have got networks. Now let's see if it has populated. It hasn't populated yet. And if we look for servers, there is nothing which uh, has been allocated, including the unallocated server, which are related to the actual uh, domain itself. So. <coughs> Looking in the domains, uh, we are dealing with HSBC there, but it has got also other related domains. Um, so, <coughs> in, in, in the rows here, we have got Active Directory DNS, as you can see, SSH. So, as the information is being pulled from the office documents, we see that anything which is populated here as um, HTTP, which is in the metatag is being pulled all of it including the IP addresses and also the URL which is found in those uh, documents. Um, as you can see also you have, you have got also H, um, HH uh, TTPS uh, those are also the part of the documents which have been pulled against the IP addresses. Going down here, um, let's minimize that and let's look at the vulnerabilities. Uh, now, on the vulnerabilities, we have got backups as listed PHP uh, with this um, uh, you know, number of the export, <coughs> and then we have got insecure methods, things which are insecure and including the URL, including also the IP address. Then we have got uh, other files which is is also pulling, which might happen to have good information such as robtx, uh, robtx um, text file, which shows all the hidden or the blocked rather um, sites on the website. Now, if we expand on users, uh, we we'll go down at the bottom so we have got the actual metadata itself which is the one we are pulling here and it has already aggregated three three users so we have got three users here then the software which is being used then the operating system windows xp so as we can see, we haven't populated much yet, but the files are going to 405. So for us to add in more data, what we need to do is analyze the data and take the program to extract it. So we'll click uh, one entry here, then we'll do extract all data. Now, I, as soon as I do that, you see here is 46. So it's increasing, it's extracting the metadata from the 405. Now I see it's populating uh, even the software is up to 8. So these are the programs HSBC is using at the minute according to the information we, have, we are pulling. Uh, even also these are the actual printers. And we have got uh, seven use eight users at the minute. 
I think some of these these are usernames to to the computers. So once this dragging that, uh, what we do is we go metadata again because it's getting extracted. Now here you can see each document. Um, the date is being downloaded and the date it was last modified. So it gives you the <coughs> footprint of when that, that um, uh, file format was uh, generated. So it's slowing down, we are 200. So what we'll do here, let's analyze it. So we'll click analyze metadata. So you see here we have got current one. We have got the users now. These are usernames. Uh, so if we see there, that's the name of, of the computer is using Mac OS. Uh, these are the program is using. So. So it, it has stopped uh, analyzing. So what we do is we we'll tell it to analyze again. So we'll keep on going back to analyze, and as it is extracting. Now the other side is network. Now we haven't started network here, but we can get the zone transfers. Uh, Google web there. So what we do is we start this one to extract more information. We are hoping to go about 405. So as you can see here, it's ranking how severe the entry is and all these are low the one which is being fast is high, which is in secure method trace. So this will be the ideal interesting uh, bit uh, information which you could need to go inside and find out more of it because it has got more probability of uh, where you could find the actual data. Now, as you can see here, robots.txt. So um, <coughs> we have got more information which we are pulling. So here I'll go again and tell it to download all so that when we save we have got that information already. And some of the file which were not downloaded, maybe they'll be downloaded this time. So we still have got a fairly chunk of uh, entries which we need to also download then also analyze because we have analyzed some and some we haven't analyzed so normally i'll leave this to run uh, for several hours then i'll come i'll analyze and download again so here extract metadata that will be for that individual file, then you can analyze again. This is downloading files. Now, as you can see, the PDFs here, there are more PDFs, and you've got Excel. So, extract all data again. So, as you can see from the bottom here, it's extracting uh, data.
So as you can see here, it's almost fine. It has all documents we analyzed, which is good. Now we want to extract the metadata again. So <clears throat> this is how you basically use the FOGA. So thank you for viewing.